Welcome to my Secret Place Devotion with Oyix Alfred. The Word of God is alive and equipped to change your life. Good morning. Welcome to a new week. And this week as you go out, the Lord will be a shield around you in the name of Jesus. He will lift your head. He will preserve you. He will keep you from every harm. According to Psalm 3 verse 3. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. You know that there are different forms of Christianity, but the highest form of Christianity is the discipleship experience. And also the most costly form of Christianity is the discipleship experience. The reason it is very costly to be a disciple is because of what is required if you are going to be a disciple. It is much more than just going to the altar to confess your sins. It is much more than going regularly to church. It is much more than giving regularly. It is much more than all the spiritual activities that we do. Being a disciple of Jesus is very expensive because it requires putting Jesus and his kingdom first above everything else even if it is your family you put the needs of the kingdom first if it is yourself you put the needs of the kingdom first whatever else that is in and around your life you put it second and you put the kingdom of god and his needs first now the average believer obviously will put the kingdom of god first only when it is convenient so when there is a demand maybe your family needs you or you personally need something you put jesus second and you say okay well you know my family is important or my sleep is important or my money is important to me or i need to do this i need to do this for myself when there is a demand but you see a disciple no matter what will put jesus and his needs first above everything else whether it is convenient or not but the believer who is not making the journey of discipleship would put Jesus first when it is convenient. But the disciple put Jesus first even when it is not convenient. The call to discipleship will require you to give up so many things. It will cost you relationships. It will even cost you your dignity. It will make you look like a fool many times. You remember that the Bible tells us in Matthew 5, 39 that if somebody slaps you on one cheek you should turn the other cheek so of course you're going to look like a big fool if somebody assaults you that way or you know does something evil and then you're the one saying no you know don't worry it's fine jesus wants me to just forgive you and let it go you obviously look like a fool but that is what it costs to be a disciple of jesus because the requirements of discipleship is so high that is why jesus said before you decide you want to be a disciple, you need to first of all sit down and count the cost. So in Luke chapter 14, verse 26 to 28, Jesus tells us what it means to be a disciple and also tells us what to do before we begin the journey. He says, if you want to be my disciple, you must by comparison hate everyone else. Your father, mother, wife, children, brothers, and sister. Yes, even your own life. Otherwise, you cannot be my disciple. Meaning that how Jesus knows his disciples are those who, you know, let go of everything else apart from the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God, Jesus Christ and his needs are their top priority. So Jesus said, if you do not do this, you cannot be my disciple. You can be a believer, you can be saved, but I will not call you one of my disciples. And then he continues in verse 27 it says if you do not carry your own cross and follow me you cannot be my disciple there it is again that word you cannot so it says you have to you know carry your cross in other words those things you're going to lose from following jesus you're going to carry it and then you're going to follow me if not you will not be regarded as a disciple of jesus and then the next sentence jesus makes he says but don't begin this discipleship journey don't begin until you count the cost in other words sit down and decide i'm going to go on this journey and i know i'm going to lose this particular friend i'm going to lose this i'm going to gain this i'm going to do this you have to sit down and do a costing jesus said if you don't do it and begin the discipleship journey you're going to come to a point where you'll be frustrated and say you know what i don't want to do this again and jesus said people will now laugh at you so you need to sit down and count the cost and i can tell you from experience that if you will decide in your heart, I want to follow Jesus beyond just being a baby Christian, beyond just being a believer, I really want to make the discipleship journey. God will bless you beyond your wildest imagination. 
you know you will really really be blessed both in time and in eternity because you decided to follow the ways of the lord carry your cause and become a disciple of jesus you know there is no institution on earth that rewards more than god if regular men on earth reward people for their commitment and faithfulness what do you think god will do if you pour your whole heart on god obviously he will reward initially it looks as if you're losing initially it looks as if there's no benefit in this discipleship thing you know but if you stay steadfast on that journey you will see what the lord will do in your life and in your destiny discipleship actually is what the kingdom of god requires from us that is why when jesus was leaving planet earth he told his disciples in matthew chapter 28 verse 18 he said you should go into all the world and make disciples of every nation so really the utmost desire in the heart of jesus is that you should become a disciple that you should be the one that let go of everything and put his kingdom first for obeying that command you will be blessed by the lord and number one is that you be a disciple and then number two requirement is that jesus wants you to begin to turn other men into disciples there are so many believers but very few disciples but if we would decide that we're going to start making disciples of men showing them what it means to be a disciple then the discipleship quotient of the world will increase and guess what if you are part of those increasing discipleship quotient of the world you see what god will do in your life and destiny and with that we bring the teaching of discipleship to a close we've been on this series for the whole month of february and we're grateful to the lord for bringing us to the end of this month tomorrow which is the first day of another new month will begin a wonderful new series that will bless your life forever god bless you enjoy the rest of the day for other life-changing messages you can now download the app rev oyik speaks from Play Store for Android phone users or Apple Store for iOS users. You can also follow us on Instagram, YouTube and Telegram, all on the handle Oyeks Alfred.